Good afternoon and thank you for the opportunity to present today. I'm Dr Kelly Frick, Education Environment Strategist at Architectus and presenting with me is Associate Principal and Design Lead for the project Paolo Sampaio. Before we begin, we wish to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands and waters on which we live, work and learn, and in particular the Wurundjeri and Woi Wurrung people who are the traditional custodians of the land where our project sits. We pay our respects to Elders past, present and emerging. Carey's new middle school building is a dedicated learning environment and home base for students in years seven to nine. Today, we'd like to tell you the story of its creation. Um, the building is located eight kilometres from the Melbourne CBD on an elevated site on the corner of Rickson Street and Barker's Road in Kew. The brief called for an iconic marker on the corner. We started looking at the scale and rhythm of the residential context on Barker's Road. Was this was then overlaid with dimensions of the education plan. The education plan was pushed and pulled in response to the context and to break down the building mass. The corner was cut and the building became an iconic marker. The building ring links Raymond Hall on the west, Memorial Great Hall on the east, and McAfee Courts to the north. The building is elevated to the north for optimal solar orientation and visual connection to the sports courts and recreation zone. A series of split levels um, respond to falls across the site and connect the two existing halls. The eastern facade creates a new, more formal public entrance to the middle school. While students are encouraged to enter from the north and from a second entry in the Memorial Great Hall. A highly sculptural floating upper volume, upper volume is anchored to the earth by a series of sculptural elements such as a dramatic conc concrete vault along its northern edge and two semi-enclosed stairs that taper to the ground in the northeast and southwest. Outwardly, the building is a transparent statement of the school's education philosophy. Its dominant appearance is um, described by architectural steel in situ concrete, glass and high density fibre cement. Collaboration between architectus and oculus landscape and architecture created the desire to fold the new building into the campus environment. The resultant biophilic design reflects our shared human affinity with nature, the physical and psychological benefits of a connection to living things. On the west, play space and learning settings, including a key, uh, a feature keyhole at the, core, at, the, at the heart of the plan. In parallel to the contextual analysis Paolo outlined, Architectus also worked with Carey students, staff and leaders to develop a detailed education design brief that drove the functional design response. The education design brief describes six interconnected learning precincts, each of which is a physical expression of the subject it hosts. Humanities, languages, music and drama, PE and C change, maths and science, and the art, design and maker space, which occupies the pivot point where the arms of the plan meets. Five of the learning precincts are also home to the 10 school houses. Each precinct is composed from a spatial kit of parts that includes flexible learning labs, learning incubators, a wide variety of informal learning settings, two house offices, and a learning support office. 
The learning labs can be transformed to create an interconnected learning landscape with the aid of generous openings, vertical connectivity, and staggered interfaces between spaces. These strategies enable a fluidity of ideas and student movement not possible within a traditional closed classroom environment. The two house offices emphasise the important pastoral care and learning support roles that Carey teachers play and the whole of precinct can be transformed and activated for house activities. Clearly articulated circulation paths guide students and teachers through the informal learning zone and link the indoor environment to the sheltered keyhole courtyard. Inwardly, the building is manifestly a home for middle school students and their teachers. Natural daylight and views are permitted with generous glazing, skylights and strong connections to outdoor landscapes. Natural plywood and soft furnishings provide a warm backdrop for the colour and vitality of students' and teachers' learning experiences, activities and relationships. During the consultation process, students shared their experiences, many of which directly informed the brief, including one story about a powerful life lesson delivered by a guest speaker which inspired these informal presentation stairs with drop-down screen and seat cushions. This is a more intimate setting than the Memorial Great Hall and that intimacy encourages students to share their reflections. Or this Socratic circle, inspired by Year 7 students' reflections on their time at Camp Tunaluk, sharing stories around the campfire. The house kitchen bench and informal lounge settings respond to the pastoral care function of the precincts and students' desire for belonging and a sense of home. Informal learning settings like this enable students to collaborate using different learning modes and postures to those afforded by the learning labs. And small meeting rooms create space for private focus for teachers and for students. Thank you.